Hi viewers, in this video you are going to learn the crowd operation in ASP Rated MVC in a minutes. So let's create the project right here ASP.NET MVC. So this is the core, but we are going to use the .NET framework. So now select this and now can create the project. This is the CRUD is the crowd operation. Okay. But don't make space and a project name. And now click the create button. Now select the MVC. Don't use this configure for HTTPS. And then create the project. So now the project is creating. The project is created successfully. So let's I'm going to add the model. Right add and here the class. So now my class is a user. User table. And now add. Here I have a table of database is user. And then next I'm going to just build application first. And next I'm going to add here the uh, some properties. So the first one is the this is the integer and the, the uh, and this one is the user ID and actually this is the primary key. So now enter and add the key. So this is my primary key. And now add the namespace that is the data annotation the next one is the username so mm, that is the string this is the username the next is the there is a string and then this is the password And the next one is the email address. So the email address also a string. And this is the email address. So this is my user table. The username, there is the data type is data type. So data type dot text okay and the next the password is the data type data type uh, dot uh, now this data type oh sorry type dot and that is the password the next is uh, email, uh, email address. So here this is the data type. So that is actually the validations. So to type dot email address. So that's it. So now that is done. So now simply I'm going to rebuild the application. So now that's it. And now To create the controller, just uh, go to select the MVC5 controller with views using entity framework. Now add and now select the model which is the user table. Select the table, and here I'm going to create the database context. So my database context is crowd operation demo context. So now add and now simply select the Create the views reference script library. So I'm going to uncheck this and use the layout page. Okay. So now I'm going to just click on add. So here first is going to install the NetGet packages, which is need for means the entity framework. And then after that, it's create the views and also the the actions for the user table to perform the crowd operation. 
so now that is done so now here i'm going to check here here uh, now you will see this the entity framework is installed so that's it so now that is complete uh, i'm going to rebuild the application first so now rebuild and then run the application so now first select the, your browser my browser is google chrome so now so click and just run and now wait here i have the the first uh, go to the solution and go to the controller of user table scroll down this is my controller name this one okay so i'm going to copy this and this is my first index action and also on this name you will get the view of this action means the action and the view name is same this must be same okay so now slash write the controller name and in the action name and x and now enter okay so now i'm going to write here the username is uh, your soft and the password is one two three four five six and the email address is um, support team in your soft at gmail.com and now click the create so now that is created and also it's getting to save inside in the browser but uh, I don't never if you want to edit this record you can also I'm going to create the next one the next is the admin password is one two three four five six seven and so on and this is the admin at gmail.com no yet okay that's done okay the one thing i will show here here is the validation also so now um, okay now see here here is the empty record so we will do this is an and an coming video so if you want to delete this so let's delete this record delete okay so if you want to edit now you can edit this i'm going to change the password so that the password is changed okay now see so this is the demo of how to perform the crowd operation in asp.net mvc so if you like the video please subscribe go to the soft